Arlington police shot a man they say committed increasingly violent crimes, including opening fire toward an officer. It started with a domestic call at a home, followed by an attempted armed robbery and a truck theft. It culminated in a short chase where police say the suspect fired a shot toward an officer. It ended after a crash in the driveway of an Arlington home with two officers shooting and wounding the suspect. Fox 4's David Centenary spoke to the owner of that home where it all ended. David's in Arlington. David. Yeah, that suspect is said to be stable in a hospital, recovering from his injuries. At this point in time, Arlington Police Department has not released his name. They say they do not plan to do so until he is released from the hospital and taken over to a jail. Now, this story, this investigation has many moving parts, but ultimately that suspect was shot in the driveway of a nearby neighbor. Two Arlington police officers shot a man who allegedly shot at an officer during a chase Monday morning. My truck has bullet holes in it. The police shooting happened in Kerry O'Connell's driveway. I ran up to the front window and I see this officer running across the yard with his weapon drawn like this to me. This all started around 10 a.m. Monday. Arlington officers responded to a domestic call at a home about an argument between a family member and a 20-year-old man. Police found that man nearby the home. They did not find evidence of a crime, so they offered him a ride home, but told him that they'd have to pat him down for weapons before he was allowed in the patrol car. As they went to pat the male down, he took off running. The man was not under arrest at that time and had not committed a criminal offense. And so officers did not pursue him. Then police say a neighbor called 911 about that 20 year old man. The homeowner called 911 to report that a man holding a gun had approached him and requested money, but then quickly left the scene. While police were investigating the attempted robbery, they got a third call about the 20 year old. The family member reported that he had returned home and was attempting to take a pickup truck in the driveway. The suspect led police on a short chase in that truck, at one point firing at an Arlington officer. He fires a round through his window shield at one of our officers who is posted up at the end of the street. That officer then informs everyone over the radio that shots have been fired. Then the suspect crashed the truck into this vehicle. The innocent driver survived. The truck ended up in Kerry O'Connell's front yard. The suspect got out. Police confronted him in O'Connell's driveway. When an officer is running across your yard with his weapon drawn, then when he says stay in, stay in. And he was still armed with the firearm, holding the firearm. Two officers shot the man. Gunfire heard throughout the neighborhood. Then all of a sudden I'm like, why are there so many sirens? So then I started walking forward and then bang, 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 about 20 gunshots. The suspect was then taken to a hospital. You feel badly for him, yeah. but it was really a dangerous situation. Arlington PD says it's unclear if there was an exchange of gunfire at that driveway. So that means they're unsure if the suspect actually fired his gun at officers around the time that officers shot him. They maintain, however, that they found a gun on his person in that driveway and that he did fire the gun at him through his front windshield while driving during that chase. But they hope the investigation will reveal whether or not he did fire while in that driveway. One thing I also want to point out is that the police department says he did not have any active warrants when they took him into custody.